Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Working with PHP. In this episode, we're going to talk about variables in PHP. Now, before we get started, let's think for a second about the variable system in PHP. Um, every variable has a type. So, for example, my name would be a string. It's a string of characters that represents my name. My age would be a number, specifically an integer, because it doesn't have a decimal place. The grade I got on my last math test would be a double. That would be a number with a decimal place, because maybe I got half a point on something. Every variable has a type that goes with it. Um, also, any statement that I make that could be true or false would be a Boolean. That just means a value that's either true or false. Now, if you've ever used a language like Java or any flavor of C, uh, they have something called an explicit type system. And what this means is that when I create a variable, I need to say what type it is. So when I create my variable name, I have to say that it's a string. And once I say that name is a string, I can't set name equal to an integer or a double. I can't set name equal to 1 or 2.5 or true or false, because I said that it's a string. So I've bound it to be a string, at least in that scope. So that's an explicit type system. I'm explicitly stating the type of the variable. If you've ever used JavaScript, uh, as, as well as some other languages like Swift and I believe Python, um, these languages have something called an implicit type system. That means that you don't need to specify the type. So if I created name, I don't need to say that name is a string. And also, I could set name equal to an integer or a double or a boolean later. Even though it currently has a string value, I could give it an integer value, I could give it a double value, I could give it a boolean value if I wanted to. It's an implicit type system. It infers or figures out the type based on the value, essentially. Now, PHP uses an implicit type system, so you do not uh, state the type of your variable. Now, PHP variables have one difference that, you'll, that you won't see in other languages. That's every variable in PHP starts with a dollar sign. It's a little bit weird, but there is a decent reason for it, and I'll show you why in a second. So let's say that we want to declare a variable in PHP. We have this echoing the header that says hello, but how about instead of just hello, we're going to put it inside of a variable so that we could, you know, change it and have it reflect. So we'll call this variable uh, greeting. And notice that I start it with a dollar sign, and I use a lowercase g in greeting because it's customary to start with a lowercase letter in variable names. So dollar sign greeting is equal to, and if this is going to be a string, uh, strings in PHP can either be single quotes or double quotes. I personally prefer double quotes because I also program in Java where double quotes are required, and there is one difference between them that I will show you in a minute. So we're going to use double quotes, and we're just going to write hello for now. Make sure you end with a semicolon. We're just telling PHP that we're finished with that statement. And now we have a variable called greeting set up, which is equal to hello. Now, if I want to use this variable, I want to go ahead and use the variable right here. So what I can do is I basically want to insert the variable in between these two h1s. So I could have three separate echo statements. I could echo the opening h1, I could echo the greeting, then I could echo the closing h1. But a better way is I can end the first the opening h1, I can use a dot, which is the concatenation operator, then greeting, then dot, and open up the closing. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting in h1, then I'm adding to that the value of greeting, which is hello, then I'm adding to that, excuse me, the closing tag for h1. So this dot is the string concatenation operator. It's basically like a plus. We're adding all of these strings together. But there is one thing. There is a difference between single quotes and double quotes. If I use double quotes like I have right here, I can actually do this. I don't need to put my quotation marks um, 
and use my concatenation operator. If I write dollar sign greeting, even though it's inside of a string, PHP will replace it for me. This is, again, inside of a string. This is the contents of the string. So you'd think it would just write dollar sign greeting in header 1, but it actually gives you the value of dollar sign greeting, which in this case is hello. Uh, if I were to use, and I'll just do that on a separate line, if I were to use single quotes, which is valid, I can use single quotes, but then I tried to do dollar sign greeting, You'll notice that, um, first of all, PHP Storm doesn't highlight it uh, brown, I suppose, for me. But if I go ahead and open this up, you can see that the first time it says hello, it got the value of greeting, which is hello. The second time, it gave me dollar sign greeting. It didn't actually get the value. So obviously, you would want to use the first example. That's what I prefer personally. You can also have... Um, nested quotations, so I could nest single quotations inside of double quotations or vice versa. So now hello is inside of single quotations. And that would be a reason why you would use single if you're going to nest double quotations inside of it. Um, one last thing, if you wanted to find a constant in Java you would when you create your variable, use the word final. In other languages like C or C++ you would use const. Um, PHP is a, is, is a little bit strange. There's a function in PHP called define, and it takes in a name and a value. So I could define um, name to be pogo, and I want to put that in quotation marks. So I've just defined a constant called name, which is equal to pogo. So if I go and use this constant, you'll see it's purple and italicized. It now has a value. So if I wanted to um, echo name, I'm not putting a dollar sign in front of it because this is a constant, but you'll see it does echo out the value of name. So that's how you do constants in case you were curious. If you have a value that's never going to change and you want it to be accessible, um, you know, pretty much universally or just easily by name like that, you can use define, but otherwise you're going to use uh, dollar sign and then the name. So this is for constants. I'm just going to stick that at the bottom. So that's all for this video. That is how you declare a variable in PHP, and that is how you use it. Really quickly, just to show you, um, I could set the value of greeting equal to 1. That doesn't give me an error. I've changed the type from a string to an integer, but it works perfectly fine. PHP doesn't mind. So that's how you declare variables, and that's how you use variables in PHP. They can be really helpful when you're doing a task and you need to keep track of different values before you can get to the HTML that you want to echo out. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some more PHP. Bye for now.